So, Bruce, um, can you explain to us fusion? No. As, <laughs> <laughs> Got another question? But, no, 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 I have, pretend, pretend we're, uh, we're a room of scientists, we're your team, or we're engineers. How would you explain what it is general fusion is working towards? What we're working towards is fusion energy, which is like the holy grail of clean, sustainable energy. Yeah. But your question, I think, is what is it or how does it work? Yeah, how does it work? Yeah. Difficult. Yeah. It's challenging. So um, everybody knows fusion because of the sun. That's how the sun operates, right? And basically you have superheated gas. It's so hot that basically the atom starts to split apart and you got those like, isotopes flying around. Yeah. Uh, but there's, the sun has so much mass, that so much density, that it basically forces them together mm. and it fuses these atoms together, mm. thus the name fusion. Yeah. And <laughs> as a consequence, uh, energy is generated, mm. right? So what people have been working on for decades, since yeah. the 50s actually, is trying to figure out how to take that wonderful source of energy and figure out how to bring it down here. So basically people can say, you know, take a star and bring it down to earth, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, but we don't have the mass, so we have to try to overcome yeah. that limitations with other things. Yeah. So um, what we, in order to create fusion on earth, there's all these little dials you can turn and different things you can twist, <laughs> but the main one that we work with is heat. Okay. Um, so basically if you can heat something high enough if you think about moving from like a, uh, a solid to a liquid to a gas, yep. think about water, for example, right? Yep. The difference there is heat, right? Um, hmm. And if you heat it up, the particles start moving faster and faster. So if you can heat it up really, really fast, yeah. then it can overcome the fact that these isotopes naturally want to repel each other and you can force them together and then presto, yeah. you have fusion. Yep. But it's like really hot and it's hot here but yeah it's really hot yeah so how, how fast how hot like can you put this into yeah so hot so we, we start with we, we start with some superheated gas yeah. so we basically take some hydrogen and we whack a whole bunch of energy into it and basically it heats up this gas we call it plasma so people think in terms of three states of matter that I just mentioned yep. but actually officially there's four states and the the fourth one is plasma yeah. And that's when that gas starts like breaking apart. Right? Yeah. So we heat up this this hydrogen initially to um, a relatively low temperature. What's that? Five million degrees. <laughs> <laughs> and we do, so we do that in this. this Hang on. How do you do that? How do you do that? With electricity, basically, yeah. we just have these big capacitors. Yeah. And we slowly, slowly, slowly charge them up, and then whack. Yeah. We release the energy all at once mm -hmm. into this hydrogen and create plasma and yeah. like we're really good at it actually but yeah. um so we create this plasma at five million degrees and then but plasma is a finicky thing yeah, yeah. it does not want to exist right i mean yeah. just think about putting anything like five million degrees next to something else like it doesn't want to exist right so it totally. tries to basically dissipate its heat all the time yeah so one of the challenges is maintaining that stability that mm. plasma Stability is the big challenge, so that's yeah. that's the big nut that we have to crack is maintaining plasma stability. Mm -hmm.